Hi everyone, welcome, welcome back to my channel. I'm Isa, if you're new here. I am studying holistic nutrition. I am getting certified to be a holistic nutritionist. And this is my journey with healing my hormonal acne, my um, healing my gut, healing all the inflammation that I have had, um, just doing a 360 of my life basically, and healing my body from within with food. And with that comes switching mostly all of my makeup products, um, skincare products, body care products, to non-toxic and non-pore clogging. So as I said, I struggle with hormonal acne, so I'm really acne prone, and I also have rosacea. So recently, I switched out um, almost all of my makeup products to non-toxic or like the lowest toxicity that I could find um, because I was breaking out a lot and I just did not realize that most of the products that I was that I was using were causing me to break out and also disrupting my hormones. So another part of this journey is balancing out my hormones. And there are so many products that are hormone disruptors. So we need to make sure that what we are using is not disrupting our hormones and our endocrine system. So I'm gonna show you guys all the products that I got and I'm actually wearing a full face of makeup um, of non-toxic makeup that I'm gonna show you right now. So make sure to subscribe down below and turn on the notification bell so you get notified when I upload more videos and let's get started. Okay, so how did I find these non-toxic products? I downloaded an app that is called Clearia. Um, I'm gonna put it right here. It's like totally free, you can download it. Um, it's actually also a Google Chrome extension so you can have it on your like desktop and your browser and basically it tells you the toxicity level of um, the products that you are looking looking at um, and also it gives you a breakdown of all the um, like toxic or harmful or potential harmful ingredients that certain products may have so that's what I use personally. Of course, not all these products are like 100% um, non-toxic and like 100% clean. Um, but one thing I did learn is that when you go to like Sephora or Ulta or Target, they have like these stickers of like clean at Sephora and clean at Ulta. That because it says clean, it doesn't really mean it's all clean. So make sure to look at the ingredients externally from those little stickers that tell you that they're all clean because they're probably not so most of these products i got from amazon and also from target i'm just gonna tell you guys which is which but actually let's start with skincare because skincare is very very important so the cleanser that i've been using for the past month month and a half is the Vanny cream gentle facial cleanser this one right here so this one is free of dyes, fragrance, masking fragrance, lanolin, parabens, um, sulfate, gluten-free, non-comedogenic, all the stuff. It barely has ingredients, which is great. The less a product has ingredients, the better. Um, and I've been using this and it has been a game changer. It cleanses my face so well. It doesn't break me out. It doesn't give me allergic reactions because a lot of products um, give me allergic reactions because of my rosacea. Um, but this one has been great. Um, next one that I switched out was my facial moisturizer and my sunscreen. So I also got from Vinny Cream their facial moisturizer that has SPF 30. So I use this. Um, every morning try to use it every morning but I've been loving this again for very sensitive skin did not break me out did not cause um, any kind of allergic reaction so that was nice um, so for night I have been using the oil-free ultra moisturizing lotion from COSRX and this is the little thing I got this round I got this one from Amazon I'm still testing this one out it doesn't give me an allergic reaction so that's nice but I'm still testing it out um, to see if it breaks me out or not so I will keep you guys posted on this one but yeah okay um, also very important is deodorant so a lot of the times we are using deodorants that are seriously um, disrupting our hormones 
um, causing us to be even more inflammated. And I got the Crystal Mineral Deodorant Stick. And yeah, this one it may not work for everyone. I use this when I don't, like when I know a, a day when I know that I'm not gonna sweat. Yes, it's not the most powerful thing ever. Um, and most people don't know how to use this. You basically just open it and you wet the rock and you apply it like for a minute straight. So that is also a little bit inconvenient, but it works for the day to day. And also I have been using the, when I want something with a little bit more power, I use the Schmidt um, deodorant. Okay, and before we get into makeup, I also got a new perfume because again, I was using like the Sol de Janeiro perfumes, the mist, like they smell really, really nice, but they are so, they have so many ingredients that can be um, allergens and just, they are very strong ingredients. So I switched out to a, to a completely clean, um, non-toxic perfume which is like I used the app and it said it had no alerts. So this is the Rosie perfume by Rosie Jane. I got this one from Sephora and it smells so good. It's like, it's like floral but with vanilla and I love it. I have been loving this so much and it's not that strong that you are like dizzy because sometimes perfumes are like very very strong and I get really dizzy really fast no this one it was this one is perfect I I will be buying this one time and time again okay now let's get into makeup I'm gonna start with face makeup I got this first mood lighting luminizing glow drops these one and I do want to say this one is low on the toxicity levels but it does have a a few ingredients that could be a little bit triggering I think for sensitive skin so you may want to um, see the ingredients and see if it will work for you but I've tried this two days in a row now and I haven't um, broken out or anything um, I'm wearing it right now and it also doesn't give me an allergic reaction and overall it's it's a good product. I did buy the Versed um, Cleansing Balm, but I do have to say that I did not like that one at all. Um, it is like, it has such a strong scent. And when I went to use it on my eyes, oh my gosh, it literally, my eyes started burning like hell. Like it was not nice. I'm not going to use that ever again. Um, and also it is on the like lower um, toxic side, but still like, no, did not like it. I bought two foundations. So I bought a CC cream and then I bought like a full foundation. Um, I'm going to start with the CC cream. I got this one from Target and this is the Honest CC Clean Corrective with Vitamin C Tinted Moisturizer. I got it in the shade Alabaster Fair Light. I'm using it right now and I have been loving it. It gives me like the most subtle glow um, and it's fairly clean. The entire Honest brand is such a great brand. Um, I still need to try it out a little bit more but so far so good and I think it's like $20 which is not on the drugstore side but not on the high-end side. It's kind of like in the middle. Then I got from Amazon the Vapor um, soft focus foundation this one I got it I got it in the shade 100 s and I used this one yesterday and I absolutely loved it I think I even love it more than this one vapor I, I have been loving vapor but the only thing about this brand is that it's so expensive like this little jar I think it was on the high, higher end side. Um, so I won't be using this one every single day. I will be using this one when I like go out or I like have an event or something like that. But it's a great foundation. I have been loving it. Um, for concealer, I, I honestly thought it was going to be so hard for me to find a good clean concealer because my under eyes crease like crazy. But I got the Honest Concealer and 
I have been using it for the past two days and it's the best thing ever and I'm so excited that I actually like it and it has increased. I can't believe it has increased. Um, so it's, I would say it's a lighter, um, I would say it's a lighter concealer, like a lightweight concealer, but it gives you such a nice coverage. Then for powders, I did struggle finding good powder products because most powder products have talc um, and other toxic and and other um, possibly toxic ingredients and um, pore clogging ingredients. So it was a little bit hard and the brand that I found was 100% Pure, that's a brand um, from Amazon and I do want to say this one is like the most expensive brand that I found. But I got the Bamboo Blur Powder, so this is a translucent powder to like set my entire face. I'm using it right now. I feel like it does set your face pretty nicely. I don't know about the um, flashlight situation. I still need to take a photo with the with the flashlight to see if I had like I have a white cast or not. Um, but it's lightweight. Um, it is a little bit like it's very powdery. Um, but I'm glad it doesn't have talc in it. I would say it's also a more lightweight powder. Um, so it's not gonna mattify you like really really mattify you like still I put the powder all over my face and you can see that I'm Shiny but glowing if you know what I mean, and I love it um, I got that one and then I got a bronzer. I got the 100% pure cocoa pigmented bronzer This one right here. I got it in the shade cocoa kissed and I've been also using this one for the past two days and it has been amazing the only thing is that these are very very pigmented you need very little like a little goes a long way and they are in these little cans you just open them and here is the product and then i got a blush which is the fruit pigmented blush powder comes in this little cute box and also it's the same tin can you just twist and you open it and look at this color this one is very pigmented i would say it's a little bit chalky a little bit but i make it work like i put it very very little um but i've been loving it so i got a um bronzing stick so cream bronzing stick it was really hard finding a low toxicity one um but i found one it's from the brand El Luz. This one right here, you can find this one at um, Ulta, and it's literally just a stick. I used this one Saturday night, I went out, and it's really pigmented. Like, this thing is insane. Like, I put so little, so a little goes a long way. Okay, and the last product that I got is a mascara. I had been wanting to try out the Honest Mascara, but I didn't get it. And instead I got the Vapor Mascara. So I got this one right here. And honestly, I have to say, like I like it for the like day-to-day -day use. Um, I don't care if it like lengthens my lashes so much or gives me a lot of volume um, for the day-to-day. -day. But if I want to go out and I want my lashes to like be lashing this is not gonna be it i do feel like it needs a little bit of work it's a bit um dry that's my situation it's a bit dry like you put it on and it's you like don't see anything and you have to code and code and code that's the only thing but yeah i don't think i would purchase this again i would purchase like the honest one to try it out but besides that every single product that i showed you guys is i am loving i'm loving and my skin is loving it so I'm gonna try to leave um, every single link of every single product down below in the description if you guys want to get anything but I hope you guys enjoyed um, stay tuned for a full makeup routine that I'm gonna show you guys on how I do this makeup routine my everyday makeup routine and just showing you guys how I use these products so again thank you so much for watching and Make sure to subscribe down below and turn on the notification bell so you can notify when I upload more videos. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!